I'm I'm not really sure how to how to word this other than to say that I, it was the real Jesus that drew me. The fact that he was that he was real, I was subjected to. Uh, I, I guess a false or maybe many false Christ, um, and and even a, a religious system uh, that that appeared to be of God. But when I finally came across a, a brother in Christ who uh, who knew God, I don't know if I've told you this, hon, but he he he. Uh, it seemed I, I I verb I don't know if I might have verbalized it to him uh, that it seemed like he had God in the closet somewhere. He had like a, a corner on who God was, and I'd never heard this before. I said. Well, I got to go to this guy if I'm going to find out about God, and 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 now I realize that was true. Uh, he's the one who knew God, and so I had to I had to hear about uh, God from him, and and I realized that that Jesus was was real, uh, even though sitting in church pews all of my youth, I finally knew that he was that he was real, and salvation was real, and and what he offered was real, and what he could do for me was real, and boy that was appealing, and. And here's the thing, it's, it's still what draws me to Christ, uh, because because even now uh, there's a lot. I'm sure you know this. There's a lot of uh, so-called Christianity that offers a growth, uh, but it's not a growth from God. And and in the Colossian letter where it says that they they weren't holding fast to the head, so that they would grow with a growth that's from God. And so even even in the system, I realize that. Uh, while while I knew that I got life from Christ, now I got to figure out how to work it out and keep it by myself. And and I quickly realized that was ineffective and not possible. And so uh, when I when I got a hold of that scripture, that I can hold fast to the head, the real one, the real source, uh, then I can grow with a growth that's from God, and it's not superficial. Uh, the same one who gave life is the same one who can sustain life. Amen. Amen. And the same one who, who brought you uh, out of the depths can set your feet upon a rock. Amen. And and the result of all that is it's built this way. It's designed this way so that the result of all of that is that no one may boast. Amen. And and that he and he alone uh, is worthy to be praised. And uh, because whether it be when you started out, whether it be when you're walking along the way, or whether it be when we're sitting and seeing him face to face, the same confession is going to be that he's the real one, and he's the source, uh, just as he was from the beginning. He's the author and perfecter, the author and finisher of our faith. And uh, and I, I'd have it no other way. The thing that drew me to Christ was that he was real, and and in 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 the midst of of fakes, I guess. And um, and for that he's indispensable. You can't you can't use a system. You can't use a methodology. You can't use mechanical ways to draw close to God or mechanical ways to grow uh, yourself. It's not like if you do this at this certain time and you set apart these hours and this and I can go through all these motions and boom it's going to equal spiritual life. It's not that. You draw close to God and He'll give you life. And uh, that's true now. And uh, and that's what drew me at first and that's what continued to draw me to draw me and. Uh, and as each individual in the body of Christ does that, they're able to minister to one another. And that's how the whole body grows with a growth Amen. that's from God up into the fullness of Christ.